Hello everyone, Yannette here from Lucid Pen, and today I'm going to show you how to use the text option in Procreate. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to your actions, and as you can see, an add text option has been added for you. So we can just go ahead and click on that, and um, we can type out, you see the little keyboard here on the left, we can click on that and type whatever we like. So I'll just go ahead and leave that as text sample. So you can see what we're going to be doing. Um, then you can select over here on the right, it has an edit style. So we'll go ahead and edit our text. Now, the first thing you see is we have a list of fonts that are available to us, but you can upload um, even more. So we can do that by clicking this import font here and <clears throat> I'm just going to select a font here and go ahead and upload it. It's called Carvino. So let's go look for that. There it is. So I've imported a new font, but I'm going to show you, let's see, with uh, Georgia, just because it has more options and I can show you everything that is available to you here. Um, so the next thing you'll see is you have styles. Now the style is just the typeface variations like regular, italic, bold, etc. You know, some font families come with more, others with less, and some just with what you get. Um, so you can go through them and change them as you like. The next thing you have is the design. For the design, you have your size option, which you can increase the points or decrease them and your text will get either bigger or smaller. You also have kerning. Now the kerning is the spacing between letters. Um, as you can see, if I go up in the percentage, it spreads out my text, um, my characters, and if I bring it down, it kind of squishes them. So you can also, for example, the distance between the T and the E looks different or it looks too, too spaced out compared to the other letters. So if I wanted to bring that space in, I can click on that and just you can see I bring in my text a little bit and it looks more evenly spaced out as opposed to the way it was before. Now the tracking is very similar except that this will do the spacing between all the letters or a group of letters. So we can go up in percentage and it spreads them all out or we can go down and it will squeeze them together. The leading is the space between the baseline. So if we click here, as you can see, the space between my two lines um, gets wider or it gets shorter. So you play around with it and just depends on how you want your text to look. And the baseline is the line where your text rests. So this, you can also move it up or you can move it down. You can simply click on one of the words and bring them closer to the other one. You just play around with it until you find exactly what you like. Now you also have attributes over here which has left justification, right justification, you have your center, and then you have your full justification. You can also underline your text and you can also outline your text, which is great for filling it in and stuff. And if your text has, if it's not a an all caps, text so you have lowercase letters you can select this and it actually makes all your letters capital so and once you have your text the way you want it to look you can simply go ahead and click done and you're all set and you can move this around however you like as usual now as you will see here when we go to our layers um, there is an a icon here which indicates that you have a text there uh, and if you click on that layer, you will see you have some options that we didn't have before, edit text and rasterize. If you click edit text, you'll be able to go back and change the settings on your text. Hit done. If you hit rasterize, it will turn your text into an image and you will no longer be able to edit your text. I do hope that you found this tutorial useful and I can't wait to see what you guys create with this new text option in Procreate. 
So why don't you head over to Lucid Pen Creatives Facebook group and show us what you've made. Until next time, bye.